everybody, it's Jamandy52, and uh, the Galinor games came out um, yesterday. Unfortunately, I was unable to try them out yesterday. Um, and I just did one round of head-to-head, -head, but I decided to go ahead and head down here and record um, a run for you, just so you'd have an idea of what was going on. Um, I came in here, and I just pretty much goofed off, but here's the instructions. Head-to-head, -head, complete the game in the shortest number of turns possible by playing the right ability cards at the right time. The colored background relates to the racer that the ability affects. You will always be represented by a black border. To see the individual effects of an ability, hover your cursor over the picture. To exit the race early, use the cross at the top of the screen. You must play one ability per turn. There are 90 abilities available, some of which are duplicates. And if you run out of abilities, then your game will end. Be wary of the struggling condition, which cannot be removed. If a runner gets three levels of the struggling condition, they will be removed from the race. Okie dokie. So right now, everyone has no active conditions. And if you see that yellow stuff, you can hear these people talking and they're really cool voices and Jacob's put a lot of work into that. <coughs> okay. Um if red is behind see, this is blue, this is gold, this is me, I'm black, that's green, and that's red. So if red is one face behind an adjacent runner we haven't started, so that's, that's not a good card to play. Anyone not under the focus condition is distracted. Nobody is um, under focus right now. All runners to move only one pace this turn. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use this instead. So everybody move one. And uh, here we go. So, yeah. Um, if red is one pace behind, we're all still equal. Dedication U times one. You gain the focus condition, allowing you to ignore negative conditions for the next turn. Very good. Um, I have the Kayet, and I should have, uh, nobody has focus, I'll save it, all runners move only one, okay, so we're all exhausted, and apparently I'm not a, uh, I'm not a runner, so, okay, I don't know, I don't get it, you taunt any adjacent runner, they gain the slighted condition, causing them to move only one pace this turn, sounds good. This looks like a pretty, uh, pretty even race. If green is one pace behind an adjacent runner, um, then they move forward an additional pace. Well, this is green. He can move forward. Um, so uh, then we also have red is one p is one pace behind. Um, you know what? No effect means they won't move. Uh, like change position or whatever, I guess. Maybe, maybe not. Getting the job done, I gained the focus condition. Beautiful, fantastic. So I now have the focus condition. And uh, anyone with the focus condition removes it and moves forward an additional pace. So I'm assuming that was a wise card play, I don't know. But this is a really cool game, and I love it. Any runner with the strain condition moves forward, doing so causes struggling. I have nobody with strain, so, um, green is pretty much, uh, done, but I'm gonna go ahead and just use that anyway. So, weight of expectation, blue receives an additional level of the struggling condition. Yes, we'll do that to blue. So, blue is mildly struggling. Uh, any runner with the strain condition moves forward an additional pace, doing so causes the struggling condition. Is anyone strained? No one is strained. The gold runner moves forward three paces. I don't like that. Uh, blue is guaranteed to move two paces each turn for the next two turns. We'll go ahead and do that. Um, it is going to move them ahead of me unless I get a really good card. Um, so nobody has any any conditions, um, except for the blue one, and they're sprinting and mildly struggling. Gold runner moves forward three paces, I don't like this. Anyone with a struggling condition, this won't have an effect, so, um, we'll just use the strained card right now, even though I would have rather saved it. Okay. Anyone suffering from the exhausted condition acquires the strained condition for the next two turns, um, I'll do the struggling um, onto blue, so blue will take on uh, severely struggling. 
So one more level of struggling, and uh, they'll be out of the race if I understood the rules right. You're one pace behind any adjacent runner. Um, move forward in additional. I am not behind. New and suffering from the exhausted condition. How about this? The gold runner. That's right. Very good. Um, so now, strained. He should become strained. That's good. No, okay. If you're one pace behind an adjacent runner, I'm not behind anyone. Green taunts any adjacent runners that gain the slighted condition. Beautiful. Okay. Red taunts any adjacent runners. They gain the sliding the slighted position. So there we go. We had a really good uh, handoff between those two. Blue's one pace behind an adjacent runner. No, he's actually like uh, not in a good spot for me. Green is guaranteed to move forward. Fair enough, Green kinda needs it. He's a little behind. Um, this is for me, so I'm gonna move forward. That's right, there we go. Um, if blue is one pace behind an adjacent runner, no. Uh, gold taunts any adjacent runners. Actually, blue's not behind anyone, so since it'll have no effect, um, towards the positive of blue. That's good. Gold taunts any adjacent runners. They gain the slighted. I'll take it. Slighted and severely struggling is good. There's a commentator booth up there. Just for fun. I'm gonna give you all a quick little turnaround of the camera, cause, you know, that, that's actually some pretty cool graphics there. Alright, Jagex. Adjacent runners, do you move forward? No. Greed for speed. No. Oh, gold becomes exhausted. I'll take that. Because he's already in the lead. There you go. Okay, long-term injury. Green is injured and move one space. So, um, green will ignore the next three abilities. He's behind, so that's fine. Um, adjacent runners to me. You're injured and move only one pace. Uh, blue taunts any adjacent runners. They gain slighted, so I'm going to do that to them. Um, and they're still struggling. I don't want to use that yet. You're injured. I don't want to use that. Uh, green times one. So we'll just go ahead and use that because he is behind. And green is one pace behind. They move forward. Okay. That's a card for us. Um. I don't want to be injured, but, um, what are my other options? Any runner that's currently one pace behind an adjacent runner move forward. Okay. I do see the finish line now, so that's important. Red is guaranteed to move. Yep, okay, so red can move safely. That's fine, because he's over here. Moves three paces. Yep. Okay. So we didn't have anyone thrown out of our race yet. Blue is injured. That's good. I pulled ahead of blue. Red is guaranteed. Alright. So, um, we're about to cross the finish line. Am I struggling? No. But you are. Um, no, no. Okay, so we're taking you out, and I just got 14k agility. That was a lot of fun. I had finished the race. Um, I finished in 31 turns and earned 268 contribution points. I had a lot of fun. Honestly, I had a lot of fun with this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and shut this one off. Um, maybe play around a little more, but I think I'm going to try a few more games. So thank you, everybody. And have a great day.